Sorry about the camera angles today and the shaky footage. I was just setting up my uh, tripod and I broke the mount. So my tripod is out of action. But let's talk about what we're gonna do today. So as you can see in front of me, I have Geekbench 4 loaded on the iPhone XS or XS and the iPhone 11 Pro. So as you can see guys, both of them are running the same version, iOS 13.2.2. We have the Apple A12 Bionic at 2.9 gigahertz with 3.68 gigabytes of memory, and then you can see then on the iPhone 11 the VARM uh, at 1.86 gigahertz. So uh, processor speed wise, uh, a lot lower, but obviously it's it is the next generation chip. Um, I'm not sure if this is because I'm using Geekbench 4 that it doesn't actually say the A13. But uh, let's go in here and run a benchmark for both of these. Again, sorry about this unsteadiness of footage and the lighting doesn't seem all that great even though I've got my setup here with my lights, it seems a little dull. But then again, I am recording off the iPad at 4K. So we'll just leave these run and I'll uh, come back to you once they've done. So they're just about to complete guys, uh, as it stands right now the iPhone 11 is ahead as you can see it's memory bandwidth and the iPhone 11 is done there, that was a, a sudden finish and you can see that the iPhone XS is behind, so if you're looking at these scores So we have the single core of 4818 on the XS and over here we have 5490 so 5490 and that is quite a big difference guys over over uh, for, for over 600 uh, points there and then looking at the multi score guys we can see a massive difference of 10859 to 13874 on the 11 here so let's just see if we can sort of see the results this is a little difficult guys bear with me because i'm holding the ipad my tripod typical for it to go at this point in time so here we have the differences here so they both have the one processor and the six cores they both identify it as uh, arms This, this seems a lot less shit. I don't know why I'm using Geekbench because I haven't got the latest Geekbench, I'm on Geekbench 4. So maybe it's not identifying the score so good here. So it's a little single core result. And as you can see, there's a big difference here, guys. So there you have it, guys. I just leave up two of these. Twenty to thirty seconds before this one. This is the ten S. So that's just a simple video, guys. And if I just bounce over the single, and here's the comparisons: the XS Max and so far about the average. So my device is above the average. Uh, we don't have an average here, and here we do. Again, this is just probably because of collection of data, guys. But this is Geekbench results for the iPhone XS and the iPhone 11 Pro. So well, thanks for watching guys. Any questions or anything and if you can just let me know if it is definitely not the, the reason why it's not showing the actual name of the device and just put in the version or or if 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 that's related to it being to the Geekbench version I got and obviously because of the name of the system as well the Bionic and obviously we just got ARM here so let me know guys and maybe you can direct me to some other videos on Geekbench testing so I can have a little comparison but yeah guys there it is thanks for watching uh, my channel please like subscribe and comment again sorry about the video quality here 
and the jerkiness, like I said, the tripod is gone, but thank you guys.